What finally gave you the ick about a partner? I'll start. I have a very jealous boyfriend who is very accusatory with me when I'm as loyal as they come. He is also super broke but I was blindly in love and helped him out with anything and everything. Today as we were having dinner at a fancy restaurant he accused me of flirting with the waiter simply because I was being nice and saying, please and thank you. I watched him gobble up the expensive food that I was paying for while he told me how I shouldn't be too nice to waiters, and how it's disrespectful to him, and that scene right there finally gave me the ick. It was almost like a switch was flipped. Before that I couldn't even imagine not being with this man. I even called him my soul mate. Now I realize that I was blinded by my love for him. Going to break up with him. I did 90 of the cooking and cleaning in my house. One day this prick had the audacity to claim he did more, because the 10 that he did do was at a higher standard than what I did. If I forgot to put even a single knife in the dishwasher, it's like I did nothing. Ick. He started shouting at someone he was discussing Star Wars with, then stomped out of the restaurant without me. I chased him down so I wouldn't be stranded. Once we got in the car, he started driving recklessly while asking me to tell him that he was in the right re getting angry over Star Wars. My dog was having a medical episode one thought was a seizure was a serious ear infection, and the guy I had been seeing made a fucking joke about it when I came to him for support. I was on the fence before, but I truly felt the ick flow over me at that point, and it did not leave. Also, to be clear, the joke was at my dog's expense. Never looked at him the same. Good for you. Once I got groped on the metro and the first thing that came out of my then partner's mouth was what I was wearing. Mine was when he sent me a video where someone was being humiliated and then got angry when I didn't think it was funny. Instead of just accepting that, he picked a fight over it which resulted in him blocking me for three days straight and once he unblocked me, accusing me of leaving him in the cold. There was a lot wrong with that relationship in hindsight, but that was the oh fuck no moment for me. I've had several guys give me that feeling over the years. The reasons include being obsessed with porn and strip clubs, flirting with other women while out with me one guy was so bad doing this at a wedding reception that my own parents noticed it first, and zowled it out, interrupting or talking over me especially when I already asked them to allow me to finish my thoughts, and just observing the callous way the men would treat a woman that I knew they weren't attracted to. Told him not to touch my nipples outside of adult fun time. He did it multiple times even after reminding him. I knew right then that I can't be with him. Lesbian here, but the ick is not bound by gender we'd been together for about three years when she casually asked me if I thought a mutual friend of ours, was attractive and then how I'd feel if anything ever randomly happened. Fuck, what I'd give to go back to that moment and tell myself to run. What finally did it for me was the knowledge that he wouldn't help change our living situation and begging for his help only got me yelled at, that and the kids being happier away from him. It was his birthday party and I had gone above and beyond trying to make everything perfect. All of his friends were there. He stood to make a thank you toast to the most important one in my life, who made all of this possible, etc. For a second I was touched. Then he smirked and said of course I am talking about my dog. I did not merit a mention in this speech, and his family dog was about 200 miles away at the time. His friends all looked so uncomfortable. So much ick. So glad I dumped that worthless motherfucker. Did we date the same loser? For me it was when I came home from work. I had been in my office job with my lovely co-workers who treat me with respect. As soon as I come home this unemployed man baby was asking what was for dinner and he hadn't eaten all day because I didn't make him lunch before I went to work. He literally starved himself because he wanted me to feed him after a long day at work. Ick. This is how I know love is blind, I've seen friends put up with men who are human trash and somehow find happiness in those relationships. Good for you that you've recognized your worth and are dumping this sorry excuse of a man. When he admitted to not working to avoid paying child support. Everything had to be on his time. We would talk about a situation and how we would proceed, only for him to change up when it suited him. 
The last straw was when he told a mutual friend something that we had discussed keeping to ourselves previously and I was completely blindsided by it. I ended up having to apologize to the friend. There were other things but this one made me so angry and disgusted. He got drunk and admitted that he called ICE on inmates when he worked as a CO in Washington if they made him upset. I'm 100 sure he doesn't remember this happening, but it cast a straight-up sociopathic light on him. He did a few things that were worse, and not just talk, but he is also in the past where he belongs so. When I wasn't allowed to be hurt about him going on vacation to another country without me while we lived at his mother's house, so I was stuck there with her for two weeks, but he could be pissed about me going to a friend's get-together for one night when he didn't want to go. I have a pretty strong overbite. I'm self-conscious about it, but I'm still cute and I'm not about to pay 50k for the surgery to properly fix it, because I just don't care enough. My ex had a habit of negging me, but he finally took it too far when he mocked me by pulling his lower jaw way back to mimic a much stronger overbite than I have. Fuck that loser. Glad you're dumping this asshole. It's super gross for him to accuse you of cheating. It would not surprise me if he was cheating, cheaters often accuse their partner of what they're doing. A soulmate doesn't show jealousy or accuse you of cheating. That's gross, controlling behavior. He stole from our daughter's piggy bank to fund his drinking habit while simultaneously spending every cent in our bank account. Leaving me without any money to travel to another state for my grandmother's funeral. He also got my car repoed the same day. Fun times. The bar for men is in hell. He asked me one time if I'd ever slept with any black or brown people we're both white, and said he wouldn't want to fuck me anymore if he found out I had because it would gross him out and he'd have to dump me. This was a guy who vocally and frequently proclaimed himself to be staunchly anti-racist to anybody who would listen as well. I ended up with a long list of other much worse things that made him a terrible and horrible person, but that one still gives me the ick whenever I remember it over a decade later. Watching them abuse other people than me. Listening to him talk to his boys about women I never want to trust a man again ick. After another day of this grown man doing nothing to make my life better, and several things that made my life harder, I said I was going to lay down in a tone that was a clear fuck off, I'm exhausted and he had the nerve to toddle into my room with his arms out to come and fuck up my relaxation with his neediness. Oh, we laying down? I'll come and I'm like. Yep. This is facts. He's a toddler. My boyfriend had just moved in a new city to start uni and I went to visit him. While I was there, he played a chess game with his roommate, and the roommate won. He proceeded to pout for two hours because he considered himself too smart to lose a game to a simpleton. Ick. I broke up with him the next day. Well done for being so astute and getting yourself out my ex being insecure was at the root of the abusive relationship I found myself in when I was young. It escalates from this and can cause a lifetime of trauma. You may well have saved yourself from something like this I didn't have the life experience at the time to realize so I'm always so happy. When I see people getting out before it gets worse I'm also writing this for anyone else who might be in that situation and be doubting themselves. My boyfriend ate my calamari. He ordered a huge plate of salmon pasta and I just wanted a small meal so I had the calamari. And then he just leaned over and started snaffling my calamari. Bastard. We were arguing cause he didn't do shit around the house. Then, after he finally vacuumed, he stared at me aren't you gonna say thank you? When he told me that he didn't think gay couples should adopt children. He knew I was bisexual but I suppose he thought I was bisexual for fun. You are amazing to listen to that voice. You are saving yourself years of heartache. Similar. I was dating this deadbeat who was twice my age, I'd pick him up, drove him home, etc. He never once planned and paid for a whole date, I'd always have to at least leave the tip. But the final straw was when we went to Denny's. I picked him up, drove there, he was out in pajama pants like the bum he was, and at the end of the meal he was like, so you paying, babe? It was eleven or so. After that it did not last much longer. It was so pathetic. Don't ever settle due to loneliness in a new place. 
It would be so funny if you told him you were leaving him for the waiter.